In this tutorial, we're going to cover creating an anamorphic lens flare in Sony Vegas. So first, open up your footage and delete the audio track. And the first thing we need to do is we need to isolate the brightest spot in our footage and this is where the lens flare is going to originate from. So in my case, it's the lamp, so I want to isolate just the white of the lamp. So that's what I'm going to do first. So to do that, go ahead and duplicate your video footage and place it on top. Drop down a 100% black and white filter. Then go to brightness and contrast. And we're going to play with this until we get just the white of the lamp showing. So I'm going to drag down the brightness and then drag up the contrast. So now I've isolated just the lamp. Now the first thing we need to do is create the horizontal streaks in the lens flare. So we're going to go to median, light noise reduction, and drag that on there. Then go to the horizontal range slider and just drag it up. And you'll see this narrows how big the, the lamp is. It makes it thinner. Now go to Gaussian Blur. And we're going to bring down the vertical range to 0 0.0105. Because we don't want a lot of vertical blur. We want mostly horizontal. So then we're going to drag the slider until we have a nice horizontal blur. We're going to duplicate that footage. Set the transfer mode to add. Now we're going to blur this one just a little bit more. So all we're doing is blurring it out a little bit. We're trying to get the horizontal streaks to go all the way across the, across the screen. That's our goal. So a little bit at a time, we're just going to keep blurring it horizontally. Now I'm going to go ahead and render this to a new track. Um, you don't have to do this. I'm just trying to um, mess with the settings to make it render a little bit faster. But just go ahead and render it out with your project settings. So it just rendered out to a new track. Go ahead and delete the audio track. It took about six minutes for me. Go ahead and set the transfer mode to add. Now we're going to blur this horizontal even more as well. So once again, drag the horizontal range slider. And we're going to keep doing this until the streaks are all the way across the screen, or as much as you want them. Duplicate that footage, set the transfer mode to add, and then go ahead and blur that one a little bit more as well. So we got the light streaks how we want them. Um, I think that's enough horizontal blur for now. So I'm going to render out all those tracks into one clip and then delete all the tracks below it. That way I can have the light streaks in, in one layer instead of like six layers like I had it before. So now that that finished rendering, go ahead and delete all the tracks below it. until you have just your footage and just the light streak layer. Now go ahead and duplicate that light streak layer, set it to add, 
and that's what we have so far looks a little bit bright so I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit um, but we can mess around with this later if you need just whatever fits your footage the best that looks pretty good for me so I'm going to blur it out a little bit more just so my light streaks go farther across the screen and a lot of this is just playing it it's going to depend on your footage so just play with it play with the settings but these are the the main ideas behind it just keep horizontally blurring your streaks and rendering it out as much as you need so that's looking pretty good I'm happy with that so now we need to work on the main glow around the lamp now that we finished our light streaks so we're gonna copy our initial footage drag it to the top we're gonna go ahead and isolate the lamp once again so drag a hundred percent black and white filter onto the footage and then go back to brightness and contrast and bring down the brightness and once again bring up the contrast now we have just the lamp now we're gonna work on the glow so add a glow filter to the footage a white intense glow and for this one we're gonna do the glow in three parts this is gonna be the main round glow so drag down the suppression and we want the intensity to be just a little bit higher than the glow percent so you get a nice round glow like that now we're going to add a little bit of a Gaussian blur just because it's a little bit too round and um, anamorphic flares right around the center of the light source it's a little bit oval, oval in shape so we're just trying to make it a little more oval so we do that by dragging the horizontal range a little bit higher than the vertical so that's looking pretty good right now and of course we wanted to have that blue anamorphic look so I'll go to color curves and drop on a cool colors filter now duplicate the footage and go to your glow settings this glow it's we want it to be a little bit fainter and a little bit more oval so I'm just adjusting the settings to make it a little bit more oval than the first glow so that looks good right there now I'm going to drag up the horizontal range again that looks pretty good I'm going to add a new video track duplicate it for the last time and this is going to be another even fainter and broader oval glow That looks pretty good. Now we want the main, our first glow to be on top and that last glow to be on the bottom. So I'll just switch that around. I set the transfer modes to screen for all of them. And then you'll see when they're composited together, we get a nice oval effect right around the light source. So that's looking really good. Now we're going to drag a cool colors filter under the horizontal streaks. so they have that blue color and that is pretty much the finished look of the project looks really good finish it off insert another video track we have to give it the anamorphic aspect ratio drag down a white solid 
change the frame size to 1920 by 817. That's the anamorphic aspect ratio. And change the transfer mode to multiply mask. And there you go. That is the finished look anamorphic lens flare within Sony Vegas. Enjoy.